Our last Ignite is going to be Boyd. He is the Gallagher of DevOps. If you don't, you, I strongly urge that you look up from your phones and pay attention, because if you don't, there's a very real chance you are going to get injured by this talk. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not fucking around, seriously. Uh, so uh, after, uh, after his talk, uh, we're, uh, we're all going to migrate upstairs. There are stairs over here, there are stairs over here, and you can use the gold elevators. You cannot use the silver elevators that are over there. Uh, there will be lovely lunch up there. We will do open spaces up there. Eventually there will be miniature cupcakes up there. And then at 4.20 p.m., we will all gather back down here for closing and raffles and swag and cool stuff like that. Uh, any questions? All right, then over to Boyd. <clears throat> Ready? All right. Hello, my name is Boyd Hemphill. I am the Chief Technology Officer at Victory CTO, and I'm here to talk to you about a DevOps tool called Audible. You need to get your LearnOps on, because you know what? There's a guy, he's really smart. His company just went public at Pivotal. His name is Andrew Clay Schaefer. And he said, if you are not a learning organization, you are losing to one. You know what? If you're not a learning DevOp, you're losing to a learning DevOp. That's the goal right now, right? We learned Docker. Now, Docker's irrelevant. We're learning Kubernetes. So why? You need to start with why. If you don't know why you're doing something, math says you're going to F it up. Here's why. Because there are infinitely many ways to do something wrong. So take any finite number of ways to do it right, divide by infinity, you have zero. That's the calculus, and you can't fight the math. Know why you're doing a thing. The pillars of DevOps are culture, automation, lean, measurement, and stealing. I mean sharing. So I don't like those as pillars. Pillars are individual silos. We in DevOps hate silos. I would rather think of these things as a fabric. So culture, the no asshole rule. Do not tolerate assholes in your workplace. Don't be one. Don't tolerate one. If somebody is harsh and you're mellow, tell them you're harsh and you're mellow. All right? Make them stop. If they, if... On the flip side of that, how to win friends. You're a change agent. You need to get people on your side. Read the damn book. All right? We suck at marketing ourselves. Go figure out how to do it better. What I find fascinating is the seminal work on automation, continuous delivery. The core message of that is lower risk, more humane workplace. You see how that ties back into culture? That's the fabric statement right there. All of the things we do are to build a better work culture. And while you're at it, read this book that has nothing to do with tech and everything to do with the cost of automation. Because if you don't know the cost of automating a thing, you're going to go to your boss and he's going to go, no way. And I don't mean just in dollars. I mean in human impact. Lean, Eliyahu Goldrat wrote the goal. We all know that Gene Kim shared, stole uh, something to, to write the Phoenix Project, right? If you haven't read the goal, read the goal. But we have a book. Oh, I'm sorry. He also then created an audio book about 20 years later called Beyond the Goal. It is really dense. If you're going to listen to that, sit with a pad of paper next to you because you're going to want to read things. You're going to want to look them up. All right, so whereas the goal is a story and really easy, beyond the goal is a slog and worth every minute of it. But then we get to the Phoenix Project. How many of you have read the Phoenix Project? Yeah, I don't care about you. How many of you have not read the Phoenix Project? Yeah, I care about you. So keep your hands up if you haven't read the Phoenix Project. I'm going to shame you first. Somebody wrote a book about your fucking life. Why haven't you read it? Here. Paul, shame on you. Read the damn book. <laughs> Ernest did tell you you might get hurt, right? <laughs> Who out? Keep your hands up. Yeah. This is a free book for Christ's sake. You can hold your hand up. <laughs> Karthik's freaking out. You're throwing things at nerds. You're going to hurt somebody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Karthik, have you read the Phoenix Project? All right. <laughs> I've got a few more here. Beyond the Phoenix Project was just released by John Willis, our keynote speaker, and Gene, and Gene Kim. Just like Beyond the Goal, it is dense. Just like he said, keep something next to you and make sure that you are reading it. I'm sorry, and make sure you're writing things down. I'm only an hour into it, and the only reason for that is because I did not have time to go and look all the things up. Measurement, 
Build, measure, learn. If you haven't read The Lean Startup, it's worth it even if you're not a startup because it helps you understand that you're measuring for a purpose, and that purpose is learning. A great business book about measurement, fire bullets, not cannonballs, is a theme of great by choice. Take small risks. And once you've zeroed in on the target, create a big effing cannonball and shoot that shit and make it go away. So with that said, I've shared 10 books in five minutes. So how about you guys share with me, what's the book I'm missing? What's, what, give me an author, something like that. I'm so, so what, over here. Thinking in systems. Over here, yeah. One more time. Ah, she's. Oh, anti-fragile. That's a really good one. Yes. Others? Accelerate. Accelerate. Who's the author there? Uh, Dr. Nicole Forsgren. Forsgren. No, Nicole Forsgren. She was a speaker here last year. Anyone else? Yeah. Modern Enterprise. Modern Enterprise. Super, crunchers. Super Crunchers. And, of course, anything by Deming, because I think my time is... No? Damn. That's a long 45 seconds. Anyone else? <laughs> Which one? The Reckoning, an oldie but a goodie. Sir? Switch. Algorithms to live by. I've heard that one before. i got to look that one up. Toyota Kata. Absolutely. That's mentioned over and over again in the Phoenix Project. Digital Landmine. Oh, the Mythical Man Month. That's actually a white paper you can download. Very good one. Uh, so. Crucial Conversations. Outstanding. Five Dysfunctions of a Team is another really great one for team building. In the back, please. I'm sorry? Learning to see. I, I have to be out of time by this point. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hack this. It really was 20 slides. <laughs> All right. Thank you.